Okay, I need to talk about something for a second. It's called uh, this video will be called uh, finishing the finish. What that means is uh, you'll get a stick. You know, you'll you'll build up a coating or whatever, or maybe you just you don't really need to build up a coating. What happens is though, you start to get these little gum ups on your stick because you know you're drying them outside or whatever and you want them to you know look their best and so you gotta finish the finish but uh you gotta finish the finish that's what I gotta do sand it I'm gonna put rotten stone on it so I'm gonna finish the finish I'm going to sand it first. So what I mean is you need to sand it back, then wipe back that, then put on the rotten stone. Put on the rotten stone. And then let it sit on there. You do it with a damp cloth or a, a pad or whatever. Damp cloth will work, just make sure it's not soaking wet, just damp. Then you rub it on there, and what happens is it will turn gray. One little key note I must make before I do anything. Make sure the finish is fully cured. Give it some time to fully cure. Then you can sand it, break it back, all the garbage, and wipe it back smooth. Then put a coat of paste wax on there, and it'll bring back the shine just fine. This is called finishing the finish. So I'm going to get to it now. come back when I've sanded most of these and then I'm going to get to the next step and that is wiping them back. I won't show that, there's no reason. And I'm going to put on the rotten stone and then after that, do the paste wax. Okay, I've done sanded them back and you might ask why did you sand them back? The big reason being why I sanded them back. Number one reason why you want to sand them back is to get off the gum, the, the gum up the dirt, the muck, the grime. And you say, oh, that's going to ruin the finish. I'm like, really? The reality is, it's not. It's not going to ruin the finish because I'm going to bring it back after I get the wax on there, after I do the rust storm. I have a slightly damp rag to work with. I'm not going to show all of them. I am gonna, I'm not going to do the club because it still needs to cure. Um, this is slightly damp. You want it to be a little bit damp. That way it lathers up on the stick, so let's get to it. You probably can't see right there, but it's gray now. These are all gray. 
I'm gonna have to probably color correct that. All of them over there. All I gotta do is wipe them back and call it done. Actually, paste wax, then call it done. They're all done. All I gotta do is put the paste wax on, buff them. Paste wax. And then we're gonna apply it. Okay, I'll come back when I'm done. They're all done. They're all done. Finishing the finish. This is what you do to finish the finish. Gets out the imperfections and uh, the easiest way to keep it renewed and fresh is to put it on a coat of orange oil or Howard's Feed Wax. Those two will work, even lemon oil will do the job.